Hello. My stream went down because my internet went down. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. People are joining in now. Okay, so my internet went down for like half a sec. For like legit half a sec. So annoying. Can you hear me? Hello. Bah, bah, bah. Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. I am fixing this up right now. There we go. Okay. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Uh, that's really annoying. Um, my, yeah, my, my fast internet keeps going like in and out for me. I was really kind of afraid that was going to happen. So that sucks. It's also like raining here. And whenever we have rain, we have like issues. Everything is good. Everything is good. Okay, well, let's continue. Uh, what were we talking about? I don't remember. Oh, I need to put... Hold on. I need to put this link in the other live stream. So I need to go like this. So that when people go to the other live stream by accident, they can uh, easily find this one, you know? Boom, boom, boom. One sec. One second. I'm sorry, guys. comment okay okay guys we're back we're back we're back we're back we're back um i'm so sorry about that okay where were we i don't remember oh we lost a lot of people too well, that's such a bummer we had like 60 people watching the stream Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do to... Uh, oh. Oh, my God. Now we're getting an echo. Cry, buddy. Tribals. Okay. <sighs> How frustrating, huh? All right. A little evil elf. Yes, absolutely. Um, to... Uh, as, as an apology, I've got an idea. Um, as an apology for the live stream cutting out like that... Uh, I'm gonna add the the likes from the last video and this video together when counting our uh, the likes needed for the next giveaway. Um, I think that's fair. So you can like if you like this video down below, I'll add it along with the last one so that we have the uh, we have a double a double voting thing. So yeah. And, and if we get 250 likes together, I will uh, do a giveaway next live stream. That seems like a fair deal, right? The chat. Oh, uh, 
Kelly says the the chat is still whack. Whoa, yeah, look at it going. Do do do. Okay, well it just caught up. Weird. Yeah, it is a bit of a whack chat, huh? All right. Well, it's I mean it's kind of working. I can see what you guys are saying. I can see what y'all saying at least. Exactly. You can like it twice. And that way uh your we'll we'll do like a double. Yeah. Okay. Whew, where were we? I don't know. We're making the legs. I don't remember what we were talking about. Anybody remember what we were talking about before an evil gremlin came and disconnected my internet and then reconnected it? Do you think it was this elf? Maybe. Might be. It was the creature that's in the box. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's like, no one will be able to guess who I am. Ha ha ha. Sage is making a chubby pig. We need a new hint as compensation. That's fair, cat. Let me finish this leg and I'll give you a new hint. That that's a fair that's a fair ask though, you know? It's fair. Yarn choices. Oh, hey, Emerald Turtle. Welcome to the chat. I didn't see you before. Oh, natural yarns. Yes, we were talking about uh, the fact that I like to use 100% cotton. Right. Well, I think we pretty much finished that conversation. I, the gist is just that you can use other kinds of yarn if you want. I like using 100% cotton for the reasons that I listed at the end of that last live stream. Okay, Sage, I'll see you later. Thanks for joining. Oh, yeah, I'm sure this elf... If this elf is the culprit, I'm sure it framed whoever actually canceled the live stream. That is a classic elf move, really. Okay, so finishing up this other leg. We've got a second leg done. Oh, Cooper! Oh, thank you, Cooper. One second, I'll put something out for you. Cooper, thank you for the donation. You're so sweet. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and cut this one. Right, and then this little bit. And then we'll stuff these little ends in here and I'll give you another hint. Okay. All right, so we got our legs done, we got our arms done. And now a second hint. Okay, so hint number two for this gift box. Hint number two, what is hint number two? Hint number two is Ah, the colors that are used in this pattern. So there are, come on, done there and move this over. There are two or three to four colors used in this pattern. So three to four colors. It depends on uh, what you want to do with the pattern. Um, I believe the one in this is using four colors. Yes, 
Four colors is used in the one in this, but I usually I only use three colors. So there is your second hint. Usually it only has three colors, but you can use up to four for certain, for adding, you know, things to it. And then a donation by Cooper. I mean, let's get a let's get the purple Pikmin out there for you, Cooper. Um, so here's the purple Pikmin out for Cooper, who says uh, that dang elf unplugged your Wi-Fi. <laughs> we back love you. Thank you, Cooper. Yeah, sorry for panicking there. I didn't really know what else to do other than just stop it and start it again. Um, it said it was reconnecting, but I don't think it was. So I was like, quick, do something about it. You know, um, all right. Well, we're going to put this right. We're going to give these guys a little bit of room here. We're going to have your purple Pikmin. We're going to move this guy's hat. Yeah, we'll do it like that. There we go. Now your purple Pikmin's here, too. Purple Pikmin are my favorite, personally. I really like them. There we go. Okay, so there's our next hint. Tina's got a new idea for a, for the giveaway. Well, good luck, Tina. One guess per user, by the way. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Is that a new? No, okay. All right, so what is next? Oh, next up, we got to make the ears. Now, I love making the ears for this pattern. I really do. I think, I think this is a cool part of the pattern. Ooh. That's okay, Nizuko. No worries. Uh, Nizuko says they want to donate, but they're broke and they can't. So that is a-okay. Thank you for just being here in general. And thanks for, like, rejoining, even though the live stream died. Alice Lee, hello. Welcome to the chat. All right, so now I'm making our ears. Five and six. Let's see, how many more hints do I have? I think I only got one. Okay, I only have four hints, so there's only two more. So I'm gonna give the next hint after we make, um, let's say after we make the head. So we got a little bit of while between now and our next hint, to be honest. Uh, but that's okay, let's see. have i ever made a panda i have actually the second thing i ever crocheted was a panda um but i don't have a panda pattern yet uh, i do have to think up a new pattern for our earth day crochet uh, let's crochet for earth day like the uh, fundraiser that we're going to be doing in april so maybe i'll do a panda um, if you don't remember, last year and the year before that, we did a, uh, a a big fundraiser for Earth Day where me and some other crochet amigurumi artists all uh, made an endangered creature. Uh, we made a pa crochet pattern for a new endangered creature, and then uh, we gave the patterns out for free, but you could donate to download the PDF version. Uh, and actually, we raised like $5,000, I think, something like that last year. So it was pretty good. Um, so we're going to do something similar again this year, and I've got to think up what animal to do, and a panda might be perfect. We did do a red panda, but that's not really a panda. Hey, Arts and Crafts! Oh, this is the first live stream. Well, welcome to the first live stream. I hope you enjoy it. Um, you crocheting today? What are you making? All right, and that's how we're gonna make an ear. Look at that. It's so cute, it's so little. I kinda wanna try sewing on the ears upside down, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, we're gonna make it bigger this year uh, for that 
Earth Day thing. Last year we did, um, it was me, Sir Pearl Grey, and Lemon Yarn Creations that each did a pattern. Um, and this year I'm gonna try to make it five. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a few more Amigurumi artists to do the crochet along with us. Or, I mean, to do patterns with us. So we're gonna try and expand a little bit. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was super duper proud of my sloth last year, so I hope I can, I can do something as cool as I did last year. I think that sloth is like one of my coolest patterns. I, I really wish it like did better. I mean, it it does okay. Like the the pattern does all right, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I think that was the end of our Christmas songs. Let's put a new Christmas song stuff on. Let's see. Question, is crocheting hard? Depends what you're crocheting, but no, not really. I mean, it, it just takes patience to get to the, to get like to a level where you're happy with crocheting. Um, but uh, I wouldn't say it's hard. I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? Is crocheting hard? That's an interesting question. I mean, I think it's a variable question. You know, it, it it's harder for some people than other people. Like, if you have a hard time uh, with, like, sitting still for a long period of time, then, yeah, it might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but... That's why I do all my patterns to be like really quick patterns is because I can't sit down and crochet for like, you know, I, I can't, I can't sit down and crochet a project over like eight hours, even if it's like spread out through a long period of time. I like to make projects that are really quick and I can do in one sitting. So yeah, it just depends on the person. Just like how Kelly said, it's hard at first. But it gets a lot easier. But it's like one of those fun, difficult things, you know? Anything worthwhile is usually kind of difficult to do at the beginning. Anything worth learning. And one thing I really like about crocheting is it gives about as much as you put into it. So the more effort and the more time you put into crocheting, the more like things you can come up with, the more ideas you have. All right, so we got our ears done. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and we're gonna think really hard like about how we wanna make this hat. Cause I think the next thing we wanna do is a hat, yeah. Also, check this out. So here's the snowman from last week, and you'll see uh, it's a little bit different. I added arms, um, and I have a little tutorial for these arms that's gonna come out with this pattern. Um, but yeah, he's got little arms there. This is actually, I don't think she's in the chat, so I think I could save this. Um, this is gonna be a gift for my mom for Christmas, uh, and she's gonna be able to like, see the arms are removable, so you can actually like take them out and put them back in, so you can it's kind of like a Mr. Potato Head snowman, you know? And then and then inside the bottom here, I have the other parts. So we got a Rudolph nose and some, some antlers that we can put on the side of his head. But yeah, I thought you guys would like the little arms addition. So this pattern should be out in a couple of days. Just letting you know. Do I teach Amy Gurumi for beginners? I am working on a more, like a full on beginner series um, for Amy Gurumi specifically, but I do have a great crocheting series that teaches you how to crochet called um, Crocheting 101. Uh, and you can find that at crocheting101.com. And then I do have a lot of beginner crocheting uh, patterns. For example, this little octopus is actually a really good beginner crochet pattern um, that you can find at uh, uh, clubcrochet.com slash octopus. All right, where's our green yarn? Okay. All right, so now we're going to be doing our elf hat. And 
instead of making it so hold on there we go instead of making it so that the elf hat has this white ball on it um we're gonna make it so it's like a bear elf hat and then we're just gonna sew on our bell to actually to the outside of the elf hat so it won't have this red thing instead we're gonna replace it with this bell um, and the reason is a couple reasons. One, uh, so you don't have to hear this the whole rest of the live stream. I don't want you to hear that the whole live stream. So we're going to sew this on last. Um, and then the other reason is because uh, I gave my mom the only one that I had that didn't have one of these white things on it. So I just kind of want to make it without it anyhow. So just letting you know, the tutorial does teach you how to make this white ball instead we're not going to be, so it don't matter. It don't matter none anyhow. <laughs> Carolyn, I think you started with the hardest pattern. Yes, the the elf is a very hard pattern. So uh, if you have difficulty on it, I won't be that surprised. I would, um, especially if it's a beginner, if you're like more of a beginner, you might want to try uh, not as hard one. Yes, yeah, takoyaki, that is the beginning of it. Crocheting 101, how to crochet for complete beginners. Brought to you by Louise Loops. That's me. That's how I say every beginning of it. Um, arts and crafts, you absolutely learn should learn how to crochet. Um, okay, someone asked a little bit ago... Um, where I lived, by the way, I live in San Francisco, which is in California. Um, yeah. Okay, so two, three, four, five. We're gonna do six, five, and six. Okay. This is also the nice thing about doing this hat is that uh, without the little white ball is it cuts out five rounds. So you don't have to do five extra rounds. Kind of nice. You are a beginner, but that's a okay. I, I again, I think you should. Uh, I tried to build that octopus pattern as a complete beginner pattern so that you can start crocheting with that pattern if you want to try it. Um, and then I have like that whole beginner series, that crocheting 101 series that you probably should just check out, watch it. Um, there's only like, I, I would say just like watch a few videos of it just to get acquainted with like the terms of crochet. That would probably be helpful. Without like actively practicing it, just watch it through once or twice first, just so you know what's going on. But yeah, but yeah. Hey, we got 40 people watching again. Well, welcome everybody. I'm um, sorry again about the live stream like mishap. I'm sorry. Oh, gee wills, gee wills. So I've been playing uh, some video games this week. Uh, Jules has been, Jules had surgery on Wednesday. So she has been out of commish for a while, uh, just kind of healing up. Uh, and so we've been playing uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time this week. Uh, and it has been a lot of fun replaying it. Except for I did the Water Temple yesterday. For those who have played this game, there's this one part of this game called the Water Temple that is... It's like the hardest level of the whole game. And I just beat it the other night and I was so happy that it's over <laughs> that level is garbage um, but yeah we've just been kind of hanging out playing those video games we've been watching a lot of um, she's been watching a lot of baking shows uh, but yeah, she's doing okay um, yeah she's feeling a lot better 
Um, did the cat knock out the computer again? No, I think it was one of these elves. I think uh, a, a shifty little elf probably did it. Probably did it. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. We're rocking and rolling. Okay. I will wish her the best from everybody. Thank you so much for all your nice, uh, kind words and kind thoughts. I'm sure she's going to very much appreciate it. She's probably asleep on the couch right now. Um, she can't really play too much video games. She's not, she can't really use her arm too much, so. But she's doing a K. She's doing a K. Yes, and the water temple from that Zelda game is like freaking. It's freaking hard. It's freaking hard. You know, I was. Uh, we have also been rewatching all the Spider Man movies in preparation for the new Spider Man movie coming out next week, I think. Um, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of Spider Man. He's, he's, my, he's my boy. I love him. Uh, and so we. Yeah, we've been re-watching all the Spider-Man movies, which has been pretty fun. Uh, we actually are on the Far From Home. We're on, like, the newest one next, so that's been pretty fun. Is number three not moldable, asks Stacy. Oh, your question about yarn. Um, It's not that it's not moldable. It's just that you're uh, using a different size yarn. Um, I don't know what size yarn that is but because you're using a different kind of yarn you're probably going to need a different kind of crochet hook to make uh, that yarn work so that means that you'll probably need to use a slightly smaller crochet hook maybe size F um, oh. okay okay just breaking my neck real quick um, yeah you probably are gonna need a slightly smaller crochet hook uh, what you're looking for in a crochet hook is a crochet hook that hooks onto the yarn like this. So it's just like barely hooking onto the yarn. You know, you don't want something that is too big or too small. Um, you'll know if it's too big because it'll just like engulf the yarn. Like it'll just completely cover up the yarn. And you'll know if it's too small because you'll split the yarn. You won't be able to get it all the way around the hook. It'll just, it'll do something like this. See, so it's like kind of splitting the yarn into two. So that's what's important um, is whatever yarn you use, you just want to make sure you have a crochet hook that works really well with it. Um, yeah. Uh, which is my favorite? I think you're asking about Spider-Man Aquatic Luna. Which is my favorite Spider-Man? Um, my favorite Spider-Man actor is Tom Holland. I, I really like him. I think he's a really good Spider-Man and I think the fact that they made him like really young is really cool because it just like opens up a lot of opportunities for Spider-Man stories. Um, my favorite movie um, I really like I really like Homecoming a lot. I like the first new spider-man movie with tom holland i think it's a really good one so i think that's my answer i don't know though i also love spider-man 2 with uh with toby mcguire that one is really good uh with dr octopus and stuff that one's great i'm excited to see that uh in this next in this next spider-man dr octopus is coming back i don't know how but it should be interesting Oh, yeah, I love, um, are you talking about Miles Morales, Kelly? Because that's, I like that Spider-Man a lot. Um, Miles Morales, for those who don't know a lot about Spider-Man stuff, is a kind of like a newer Spider-Man-ish. Um, if you watched the Spider-Verse movie, the animated one by Sony, um, you, that's the main character in that one. Uh, his name is Miles Morales, and he is, um... I think he's Puerto Rican and black. I think he's like half half Puerto Rican, half black. And he is so interesting as a character. Uh, he's got a lot. I don't know. I just really think that character is super duper cool. Um, and a lot more grounded than Peter Parker a little bit. Uh, just just with like, 
it's more modern. Let's go with that. Some more modern problems that he has, which I think is pretty cool. I think is a, I just think he's a cool, he's a cool Spider-Man. I think what we'll, we'll probably end up seeing him uh, in like live action movies sooner or later. Yeah, Miles is very cool, and he can he can uh, turn invisible. He can camouflage, which is kind of neat too. Hey, Jana. Welcome. It's been a while. Yes. Hello. Welcome. The video is stuttering. That is not good. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know what I can do here to make it like work better. I had to go on my slower internet. So if the internet is stuttering... Um, I'm sorry about that. There's not too much I can do there. Uh, let me know. Is the inter is it stuttering for, for other people as well? Okay. Crafty Chat said that it's working for them. Three, four, five, six... Or okay, now we need our white yarn. We're gonna change to a white slash um slash green or main color, whatever you're using for your main color. The video is clipping, but the audio is not. How strange. It stops and starts. That is not good. So like you can't see this really well. Let me let me have it playing on my phone. Turn off my internet on my phone. Maybe that'll help out a little bit too. Let's see if I can't um Ooh. There we go. Okay, so I'm I'm just kind of like looking and testing it out as I go here. All right. Uh, Arts and Crafts asks, uh, where can you buy hooks and yarn? Um, I actually do have crochet hooks in my shop. If you want to get um get some crochet hooks there. I do want to get more. Oh yeah, I see it now. It's totally stuttering. How freaking annoying is that? Man, I swear. I it's just like it's like jeez. Um I'm supposed to be getting our internet is supposed to be getting fixed this week, so hopefully this won't happen again. But it is totally stuttering. I see it. I'm sorry about that, guys. I, I can't hear it, obviously, because I don't have the audio on, but that is frustrating. No question. It is frustrating. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I don't remember what I was talking about. But I was talking about something or another. We lost the newest member thing, too. I don't know where that went. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Deny. Now oh, we gotta keep that one invisible. It's the elves again. Messing with the cables. They're chewing on cables. People don't know this, but elves actually do grow. Um, their teeth keep growing for, for their whole lives. Kind of like a beaver or a mouse or a rat. So they have to continuously be chewing things, and they really like chewing wires. So that's probably what's happening right now is there's an elf chewing on wires, and, you know, there's only so much you can do for that. <laughs> Sorry for those that don't realize that I am being uh, a sarcastic little butt. 
right there. Kelly, uh, interesting question. Um, it's not that it's too personal. I just don't really know the answer right now. Um, I guess the answer kind of is that we are waiting a little bit because everybody is doing that right now. Um, everybody's kind of getting hitched. So we don't really want to get hitched when everybody else is. But, yeah, I don't really, you know, it'll happen when it happens is the answer. Yes, we need to get these elves some rubber chew toys. Totally. Turtly. Turtly turbular. Okay, hat is nearly done. And then cut the green yarn. Where is your shop? Um, you should be able to find it in the description or by just going to clubcrochet.com slash shop. Um, pretty much everything that I talk about is linked to just clubcrochet.com. That's my website. Um, two. And then we're going to half double crochet all the way around. We need to add more just like raw yarn there that you could purchase. But um, there are uh, some, some crochet kits there. Uh, there are some crochet hooks you could buy and then eyes. Um, next year we're going to be working on like just growing out that shop a little bit more, make it so you can purchase some other things there as well, specifically materials. Um, it'd be nice to get crochet hooks like this one in there too. Um, maybe some of those crimped and darning needles that I really like stuff like that. Nezuko, you're doing a great job at chatting. What is your favorite thing to crochet? What's everyone's favorite thing to crochet? Everybody, what's your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to crochet is probably... Hmm. Probably... I mean, other than like the obvious, like Amy Um, I also really like to crochet. Uh, like the the T Rex. I really like making that one. I really like making orcs and ogres and stuff, uh, and goblins and stuff. All right. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making sure that like everything's working. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. Let's keep on keeping on. My hat's starting to come off my head. Claire says the dragon pattern is so hard, but so much fun. I totally agree. Uh, that pattern is really difficult, but really fun to make. Um, yeah, I, I would say it's one of the most difficult patterns on the website. Or maybe um, Gulliver. There's a Gulliver pattern on there. That one's pretty tough. That one's from Sir Pearl Grey. Where the skull, the skull pattern is really tough. But that one's really short, so it's not that... You can make it pretty quick. <laughs> Okie dokie. We have got the brim of the hat made. I think we're just gonna, just gonna fold it up like this. And now we got the brim made. 
And when, at the end of the video, we're gonna sew on these uh, this to the tip of our tip of our hat. But not yet, not yet. Does the material of the yarn matter when making amigurumi? Um, the answer to that question is to a degree. Um, like you don't want to use certain yarns for amigurumi. Definitely, you don't want to use like lacy, really thin yarns. Um, so like you don't want to really use very fuzzy yarn because it's hard to see your stitches. Um, you don't really want to use uh, bulk. I mean, sometimes you do want to use bulky yarn, but usually you don't really want to use super bulky yarn because it's just will make your thing too big. Um, but the to a degree, the answer is not really. It doesn't matter that much. I'm, uh, it matters a little bit, but like, you know, you can make your, um, I'm wondering if I should put this through the tip or not. No, I think we'll just sew on the bell using some extra thread. Um, but you can also use kind of like any yarn you want to make amigurumi. Uh, to a degree, like, you know, you can make it out of whatever you want. So, so the answer is yes and no. It does and doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21. So we want to start right here. Okie dokie. Wait, really? That feels wrong to me. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, okay. All right, I believe you. I believe you, Pastor Lou. All right, so we're working on the head now. And uh, we need to make this brown yarn, or we need to add this brown yarn. And after I finish this head, uh, I will be doing our uh, another hint for our giveaway. So keep a lookout. Keep a lookout for that. I'm going to crochet around these tail ends just for a stitch or two, just to keep them locked into place a little bit better. I'll give you a hint soon, cat. Jeebers. Llama plays. Welcome back. One, two, three. Five, five, and then six. Okay. Sorry, this part needs like some color changes and some thought. So, just kind of like trying to trying to think while I'm trying to think as I'm as I crochet here. Oh, right. What do I mean by three to four colors? Is like one color an accessory or teeth like the T-Rex? Um, yeah, you're kind of on the right track. Like one color is an accessory, like something that you don't really need on your character. And uh, I don't even know if, I actually don't even know if technically it's in the pattern. So uh, when you think of this pattern, you probably think three. But the one that I have in here has four colors involved. So I just wanted to basically say that in there. So it's it's somewhere between three and four colors, depending on if you want to add certain elements to your pattern or not. Three, four, five. Nine. 
eight, nine, I think that's 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. Um, Cold-Blooded Adventures says they're going to be right back. Today is not, oh, well, I, I hope you have a better day, Cold-Blooded Adventures. Um, yeah, sorry you're having a rough one, but I hope it gets better. Actually, we can just keep this beige yarn close. Three. Last one. Work around this. All right. So what else? What is everybody else making? Anybody making some uh, a good Christmas gift for? someone right now I don't think she's gonna join this live stream so I think I can tell you um, I am working on a gift for Nicole our um, head of brain space navigation that's her title at Club Crochet um, she is the one that helps put together all the kits and stuff uh, and I was working on her gift last night I'm making her a, a little bobblehead of herself uh, and then I want to make one for Jimmy our website guy our website guru is what I should say so I'm pretty excited I, I was gonna do it on a live stream but then I was like you know what I can't do it on a live stream what if they see it doy <laughs> someone asked about twitch where was that do I stream on twitch oh hi Ruatistic. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Do I stream on Twitch as well? Not yet, but that's definitely something that I'm going to be doing next year is we're going to be doing uh, like we're basically going to have this live stream split between Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So you can so you can join from either place to watch. <laughs> Sunshine's making a Grinch. Cooper's making a Santa Claus for Gecko's mom. That's cute. That's really sweet. That's really nice. I like that. Tassilarian, hello, welcome. They're making penguins, a rocking horse, and now a crocheted reindeer, all for Christmas gifts. That is crazy. You're making a lot of different things there. That's very cool. I think this is just around... Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm supposed to do the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta pay attention, Lou. Nope, nope. Iris is making some whales. Aquatic Luna says, can I hold three fingers really quick? There you go. Uno, dos, tres. Or maybe I'll do it differently. There you go. One, two, three. That one boy is making a ram skull. A ram's skull? That is metal. <laughs> it's so cool. What a what a crazy gift. That's super cool. Alright, so this part of the pattern, I always every time I make this part, I'm always thinking like Wow, this looks so weird. Uh, when with when you're making the head here without the eyes in it or without the the hair or the face or the yeah the eyes or ears, uh, it looks really weird looking. But don't worry, it will look normal eventually. And if you haven't yet, please like this video down below. Um, we're trying to get to 250 likes uh, to do a... Um, oh, shoot. I did it again. I messed up. I'm not reading the pattern. Um, 
if you uh, if this video gets to 250 likes, uh, I'm gonna do a nether giveaway next live stream. And I'm including the likes from this current video that we're watching right now and the previous live stream. So we actually started a live stream on a different video and had to, uh, the, the internet like dropped out at a certain point. So I'm adding the likes from both videos together kind of like as an I'm sorry that the video went down. So if you really are like, oh, I want to give away next live stream, uh, then you should go like that video too to kind of like double it up. You can do that. I won't tell anyone. I don't like the way this nose is pulled out like that. So we're going to push it in there. Oh, Nezuko, that's so sweet. That's really nice of you. And I'm sorry for your loss. All right, we're making our second eye now using these bobble stitches. And you can see how it looks like really creepy weird, right? Hold on, I'm gonna pull it just a little closer and fix the focus. Oh, you do you do three like this, Aquatic Luna? Yeah. I think this is the European way to say three, right? Isn't this like German or something? And then this is like the American way to say three? Honestly, this makes this to me makes more sense just because you go one, two, three, four. You don't go one, two, three, four. But we do a lot of things here that are weird, like uh the metric system, for example. Or our healthcare. And by weird, I mean not great. <laughs> yes, it is a zombie elf right now. A zelf? A zombelf? A zelf. I kind of like a zelf. That's a zombie elf. Obvi. Obvi. It's a zombie elf. Obvi. America is weird. Kelly, are you from America? I didn't know. I'm not sure. Christmas ham or turkey? I mean, I think Christmas ham is a thing. I've never heard of a Christmas turkey. But I would rather eat turkey than ham. If that's your question, I like ham, or I like turkey more than ham. But I'll probably, be, I'll probably be having a ham for Christmas this year. My family usually does a ham. I just like turkey more. The Ze the Legend of Zelfa. <laughs> that's good. Kelly's in Northern Florida. Oh, cool. Disney World. Disney World-ish. Very cool. They're also going to be putting a Nintendo uh, World out there at the Universal. Which should be pretty cool. I want to go to that. I want to go to the one in Japan first. Universal Tokyo, I think it is. Or something. Or Osaka. I think it's near Osaka. And I really want to go to it. But they're not letting anybody into Japan right now. I get it. I get it. Our zombie elf is coming together. Okay, let's look at him. Whoa. What would a zombie elf say? He wouldn't say brains, right? He'd say like like gifts gifts I, What do elves desire more than anything else? I don't know I don't know, but I've been told Okay, we got one, two, three, four
Gotta read the pattern, gotta read the pattern. Yeah, you gotta read the pattern, gotta read the pattern. I'm gonna use the check marks now, actually, because I keep losing track of where I'm at. Um, if you don't know, if you are using any of my crochet patterns, either the ones from the website or the ones uh, if you have a PDF version, uh, I have check marks to keep track of where you're at um, for all the patterns. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, eh? <laughs> Nezuko lives in Japan, so they can go. Well, lucky you. Lucky you. I don't know how to say lucky. How do you say lucky in Japanese, Nezuko? Four. Four. Five. He would say Kani. Kani means lucky. Oh, candy. No, no, no. He, she's saying that the elf would like candy. Hey, that's pretty good. 161 likes between the two live streams. We need to get to uh, 250 for another giveaway next live stream. All right. So where am I at? Oh, we need to do one more round. And then we can add our eyes. And our, our elf won't look as creepy once we add our eyes. Uh-oh, the audio for the pattern for the pigeon burb wasn't working. Really? Uh, I don't know about that. It might have been that you were muted because I have totally used that pattern like recently and the audio was working. But maybe I'm wrong. For the pigeon, huh? I got to stop looking at that one. I want to look at this one. Here, I'll give this a video like on my thing too to help you out. Boom. All right, I'm gonna get my eyes added on and then I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Your boy needs his coffee. I didn't finish it. It was not muted. Hmm. Can someone check out the pigeon pattern for me? Uh, you can just find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash pigeon and play the video. Uh, let me know if the audio is working. Because uh, Llama Play saying that it's not working, which would be obviously a big issue. So. Right? Is that the one you're talking about? Or Llama Play's email me with whatever uh, pattern it is that's not working. Um, and I'll try to fix it. Okay. Next, uh, oh yeah, that's right. We're adding our eyeballs. Okay, so we're adding our eyes now, uh, and I've showed you how to do this before, but we're just going to be doing it in our bobble stitches. We're going to make sure our eyes are pointed inwards. Oh, works for you. Okay, Sunshine says, by the way, hi, Sunshine. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm sure you've been here for a while, but I didn't see you. Uh, yeah, people are saying that the audio works. Llama plays, I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, so we got one eye. Look at how much normal he looks when you add an eye, right? Doesn't it look like crazy how much nor more normal it looks. By the way, maybe we should do a little something special for this for this uh, guy. Maybe we'll give him like, should we do some eyelids maybe? Or some eyebrows? Or a mustache? Or, I don't know if elves really have mustaches. Eye, eyebrows might be nice, though. Once we add our hair and stuff. Do we have to add our hair now? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's add our hair, actually. And then maybe we'll play around with an eyebrow situation. Or, or mustache. I must ask you a question. Oh, did I miss a, a Japanese lesson from Nezuko? Lucky and it's ra oh Rocky. Okay, Rocky. I'm s assuming that's in Katakana. <laughs> oh, we're getting a lot of yeses on the mustache, so maybe we do need to try the mustache. All right, so we're adding hair now. We'll keep the hair kind of like doing its little uh, wispiness. So I'm just gonna go over a few. Up one. Oh, someone's on our. Someone's on the fire escape. Shh. I thought someone was on the fire escape. I heard him. I don't see him though. Let's do one more little bit for this hair. I really like giving it like this little swirl. See how it's got like this little swirl? I like that a lot. Huh? That's pretty good. He's coming together. And uh, then we'll try, we'll try a mustache. I'm not feeling too hopeful for a mustache, but we're going to try it anyhow. See how it looks. It was the elf. Yes, the elf is on the, that's what's doing the, oh, of course, of course it was the elf. Artsycraft just realized we're making an elf. <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. All right. Hair. And let's try a, a mustache, yeah? Are we doing anything for the holidays? Hi, Jasmine. Welcome to the stream. Uh, are we doing anything for the holidays? I am going to, uh, yeah, we're going to my... Uh, parents place we do this every year we go to my parents place for Christmas Eve and then we go to my uh, we go to Jules's family's place for Christmas so we leave Christmas and go to Jules's family's place down in um, Southern California uh, near um, near like San Diego so that's what we're gonna do this year again Ooh. I don't know. I don't know about this mustache. I just don't know many elves with mustaches is my problem. Let's try um let's try this again. Let's try it a little bit like lower. Maybe like right there. Let's see what that looks like. We'll go
this. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. What are our opinions on the mustache so far? The music, yeah, it's like spooky music, huh? Oh. Do you see that? Look at this guy. Look at this guy coming in. He's like, he fell. He fell down and he was like, hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. There's ghosts in here. There's ghosts in here, I tells ya. Ghosts! <laughs> Kelly says, Louie, if you don't do a mustache, I will unsubscribe. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Do we like that mustache or is that like super weird looking? Be honest, Kelly. Be honest. Do you like that or not? This is what it'll have with the ears. The ears I'm sure will help a lot. Okay, we gotta look at. Man, I hear someone out there. I swear I do. It's Santa, it's Santa. <laughs> Hinto uh, Sansu or Futatsu? Is that right? Did I say that right? It's too long, says Sin. Mickey Cricky thinks that it's great. So does Kelly. Llama Plays loves it too. All right, fine. He looks like a he looks like Papa Elf or something. All right, we'll keep the weird old weirdo mustache. Maybe we'll give him glasses too. Maybe, maybe. We'll do that at the end though. All right, double knotting. Okay, we got our mustache. Dare we try eyebrows, or is that just too much to do eyebrows on top of that? We're going to try it. I did say it? Whoa, is it Futatsu? Hinto Futatsu? That's cool. I'm I'm excited. That makes me super happy. <laughs> Please no glasses. That's too much detail. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. No glasses. Let's just see what it looks like with eyebrows. If we don't like it, we can get rid of it real quick. That's eyebrows. What do we think about the eyebrows? Too much, too much, too much. To the glasses or the eyebrows? Oh, pretty much everyone's saying it's too much with the eyebrows. I think they're talking about the eyebrows. See you, Takayaki. Thanks for joining. Nothing should take... Okay, no eyebrows. No eyebrows. Crocheting Lung, welcome from Vietnam. Oh, okay, wait, we're getting some okays on the eyebrows. Before I get rid of it. He looks worried. Arts and Crafts says to take the eyebrows off. Get those eyebrows off my elf. That's what she says. And then here's here's what it would what it'll look like with the ears too. 
I kind of think the eyebrows look kind of cool. <laughs> Aquatic Luna says, Cooper likes the brows too. Gina, the mustache is going to stay, so. I think we got to keep eyebrows, guys. I think the eyebrows add a lot to him. I think it looks really funny. I'm going to do it. I'm keeping the brows. It gives him more of a more of a Papa Elf feel to him. We're keeping the brows. That's it. I've made my decision. I like the eyebrows. I don't like the stash as much, but that's okay. He does kind of got a Luigi feel to him, doesn't he? Just no glasses. Okay, no glasses. That's an easy one to do. Okay, we got one eyebrow there, and then we'll do the other eyebrow on the other side. He is like an old elf now, right? Yeah. Oh, ear hair. I like that idea. Okay, well, we'll, we might do ear hair also, Mickey. That sounds like a fun idea. Look at those brows. He's so cute now. Oh, my God. I like an I like an it I like it. Hit number three is coming at you in just a second. We just need to finish the neck part first. But it is coming to you in just a sec. We should have a couple of rounds to crochet. Um, we're gonna sew our ears on at the very end, so we actually don't need to sew our ears on just yet. But yes, hint number three is coming to you in just a sec. I mean, I feel like the eyebrows look pretty bushy, just the fact that they're even there, to be honest. Like, they're very prominent to me. But, yeah. Arts and Crafts is like, no, please don't add ear hair. Please, I'm begging you. Don't add ear hair. <laughs> Bronwyn says, says we shouldn't give, it, give him a nose ring, an ear ring, but... I mean, you can't tell me not to do something. That's all I want to do now. How dare you? Just kidding. I'm not going to give him a nose ring or an earring. Well, earring maybe, but definitely no nose ring. The hints are about the giveaway, Arts and Crafts. You got to guess what's in this gift. Uh, and if you get it right, you win some money for, to the Club Crochet Store. If you get it right first, you win $20. And if you get it right... After that, you win five dollars. So anybody can win. All right. Decrease there. Let's go ahead and stuff the head a little bit. Give him arm hair, <laughs> Claire, weirdo. I want my elf with arm hair. <laughs> uh, bird pins will be back in the shop in actually just a couple of days. I think they came, actually, I think they got shipped there yesterday, so I can probably add them tonight. So, Mickey, I'll add the burb pins back into the shop tonight. Because I don't think they're... Actually, you know what? They might... Maybe I already did it. Let me check. Let me check. Let's find out for you. Oh, yep, they're in the shop. 
They're already in there. Um, a quick, the quickest way to find it is by going to the shop and scrolling down to merch, or you can find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash burb, and you can purchase it there. But yes, they are currently in the shop for you. Thanks for asking. Oh, the, yeah, the hints are right here. Arts and crafts. I'll go through them again in just a second. Let me finish stuffing this head up. The stuffing is fighting me. Okay. All right, so here are the hints. So, just a reminder for everybody, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, if you can guess what is in this box, uh, you will win some free money to the Club Crochet store. The first one to get it right will win $20, and anybody that gets it right after that will win $5. You have one guess, though. Only one guess. And I'm consistently giving out hints throughout this video. So, the first hint that we gave was right here. Hint number one, the number of stitches is 150-ish stitches. So it's a pretty small piece. Um, it's a pattern from the Club Crochet uh, website. So there's another hint that's free of charge. Hint number two, it uses three to four colors. Now the pattern itself only uses three colors, but I used four colors for mine um, just because I added something special to it. The uh, the next hint is, ba -ba -da -ba, hold on, hold on. First we need to move, nope. First we need to move this over. And then we gotta open this part up. Oops, oops, what'd I do? There, okay. Hint number three is, Hit number three is probably going to give it away. Well, actually, no. Hit number three probably won't give it away. Um, hit number three is the name of the creature that is in there. And it is a living creature. Okay, so there's, there's an extra hint free of charge. But its name is Philo. I named it Philo. So what kind of creature would have the name Philo is the question, is the, is the hint. What kind of creature would get, have the name Philo? Now, the last hint is totally going to give it away. So I'm not giving you that hint until we are just about done and going to sew on the arms and legs and stuff. So that is, uh, that's the last hint for a little bit longer. And we're going to crochet a little bit more. And then I'll give you um, the last hint right near the end. Its name is Philo. Personally, I think that's a very cute name for um, what it is. Okay. I'm going to get this bell on there in a little bit um, but now we can keep crocheting we are working on the um, we're just about to get to the body I love that Ke Kelly's like I can't wait to see <laughs> I can't wait to show you you're gonna I think you're gonna like it oh no yeah no it's got breathing breathing holes I think right right Or Okay, now here is the most like annoying part of this pattern. I do have to say is that you got to crochet, you got to you got to get one, two, three, six, yeah. So we need to mark the back loop of this next stitch. We'll just use some of Yeah, we could just use this yarn.
but yeah, this next part of this pattern it can be a little tough. We're making the um, his little like neck uh, frill thing, and then after that we need to crochet into the back loops that we're not working into, and it can be kind of tough. So uh, first we need to undo this last stitch. We also need to turn my heater on. It's cold in here. And grab a white yarn. Ooh. Hoo How much stuffing does an amigurumi need? That's a good question, me here. Uh, about maybe like this much. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe like double that at the most. So not very much. Uh, you can see like this can squish down like really, really tiny. Yeah, about that much. Good question. Okay. go and make our little neck frill so we can leave this stitch loose okay three. Uh, leaf sauce. Wait, I missed the hint. What does phyllo mean? Phyllo is the name of whatever is in there, which means, through deduction, that whatever's in there is a living. It's like it's, it's alive. It's alive. It's a living thing, and I named it Milo. Slip stitch. Okay, and then one, two, Nizuko, you're back for a bit. Uh, oh man, I just learned welcome back. How do I say welcome back? I just learned it in Japanese. Like yesterday. Mm, I can't remember. Nizuko, how do you say welcome back? Oh, never mind. Bye bye. They're leaving again. Jane. Um. One, two. Okay, and then we're just gonna do one of these. Look at our mustached boy. My god, you look so silly. I love him. All right. Cut this. My scissors that aren't working anymore. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Bye, Cold Blood Adventures. Thanks for joining. All right, here's the tough part. Got to first hide this end, just like into the body. Honestly, let's just go up and just hide it somewhere in here. Fix this stitch. Whew, this pattern can be tricky. All right, now there's the here's the toughy, the toughy part. It's that. 
First, we're going to cut this beige yarn. We actually don't, I don't think we need a beige yarn for the rest of the pattern either. I'm going to stuff the, these stitches back in there. Are these colors in there? Okay. Pull this out a little bit because we need to get in there. There we go. Okay. Now we need our green yarn again. Got it. It's Philo, not Milo. Philo. F I L O. There we go. Okay. Now we're on to the body. Sorry, once I finish this round, it'll get a lot easier. Three. Six. All right, seven. We are back on track. Nine, there we go. All right. Untuck this collar. And let's cut this white yarn because we don't need it there. Music's like kind of spoopy. Yeah, Mickey, this is a, that's the most annoying part of the pattern for sure. But you know, it didn't take that long. It only took like five minutes. It's just like frustrating. Just frustrating is all. Good night, Silk. Thanks for joining. Oh, uh, Aquatic Luna, uh, Dumb Dog Studios, what'd you ask? Um, oh. Oh, Dumb Dog Studios, um, oh, I'm sorry, you emailed me. Da, 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 canceled, but, uh, so, uh, oh, Eli, are you Eli? I have to get back to you. Um, yes, I don't think you did pay for it, but don't worry about it, just keep the kit. Um, and regardless, uh, if you did pay for it, I'll give you a refund. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, I'll figure that out tomorrow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you should be good. Thanks for thanks for asking and thank you for your patience. Um, but don't worry, I'll, I'll give you a refund if you paid for it. And and regardless if if you did or didn't, uh, you won't. Don't worry about sending the kit back. You can keep it. It's it's my Christmas gift to you. Um, when am I going to make more pod people soon ish? Uh, the big thing that I want to do for the pod people is I really want to come out with that tutorial, um, like how to make your own pod people. That is the next goal for my pod people. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to like schedule out some time next year to make that like a big priority, um, probably near the summer. So there will be more pod people coming soon, uh, and with that will be like a whole color change chart thing that'll come along, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be fun. Okay. Two.
All right, our bodies coming together. Oh, thank you, Tessalarian. That's so sweet of you. Yes, the mystery Philo thing is alive. It's alive and well. Where can you guess? You can guess by going to the link in the top of the description or by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. It's pretty, pretty easy to get to. Here, let me go ahead and put that in the chat again for you, yeah, arts and crafts. Oh, when can you guess? Yeah, you can guess at any time. The sooner you guess, the higher your likelihood of winning the $20 is. But if you want to wait to the last hint so that like you can make sure that you get it right, then you might be able to just make sure that you win at least $5. Because even if you, if you get it right, but you get it right really late, um, you'll still win some, some, some moolah. and 15. All right, we're actually coming up to the end of the body pretty soon, and then we could just sew on the all of our parts. And uh, yeah, we're actually coming to like the last, I would say we're in the last like home stretch here. So uh, you, yeah, if you got any questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, and by the way, again, our next live stream is going to be next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after the 22nd. Uh, and we're gonna do it at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time again. So if you'd like to join that live stream uh, and you want to make sure you don't miss it, uh, make sure to um, like and subscribe down below and hit the little bell icon Ugh. so you don't miss the live stream. And hopefully we'll do another giveaway in the next live stream too. It should be pretty fun. All right, so now I'm making the belt of our elf. Elf on a shelf. This part's kind of neat. We're just doing slip stitches to make the belt. Oh, I forgot my yellow yarn. I need some yellow yarn. Do I have any over here somewhere? Maybe. Oh, that's a bummer, Mickey. I'm sorry. I had to do a different time for that stream. All right. Wow, the music, is the music even existent right now? It's like so quiet. Let's go back to our Christmas music. Starting it again, baby. All right. 
Back in black. I'm a pretty good singer, I think, huh? Pretty good, right? You can you can go ahead. You can tell me I'm a, a really good singer. It's all right. Hmm. What? I don't know what you're talking about. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Sep. Huit. No. Dies. Dies on. Fifteen. That'll be right. Oh, yeah. That'll be right there. That's what we need. Just got to get our shay hook into that stitch right there. Go ahead and pull this slip stitch up. All right, and do a chain, and then we just got a single crochet in all the big loops, just like this. Pretty much a pretty much a genius, you could say it. You could say such a thing. <laughs> How did I know what song you were gonna do based on those mumbles? <laughs> All right, Carolyn, gotta go. But thanks for joining. Sorry that I'm crazy. Monster Mondays. Yeah, you know, I really do gotta bring back Monster Mondays. Wait, Mickey, did you just change your thumbnail? Did you change your thumbnail from like a from a hamster to a to a lion hamster? By the way, a lion hamster sounds like something from Avatar, The Last Airbender. Uh, yes, I do want to bring back monster, like, weeks, um, again. I've been really meaning to. I've been trying to bring them back. It's just, they're very, like, I just need to plan them a little bit better, you know? But the answer is yes, I do want to bring those back. I also miss them. Llama Plays says, asks, is it a land or an aquatic animal? I must know. I never said it was an animal. I just said it was alive. And that his name is Philo. Okay, let me count my stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen. Okay. Ooh. No, you guess arts and crafts. Come on. Uh, use the link in the description or by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. I keep posting it here. I'll post it again. Guess here, but you only got one guess. So don't, there you go. And, and it is a he, yeah, that is true. It is a he. All right, couple more. Okay, next thing we want to do is stuff the body just a little bit, like that much, and then we're going to fill it up with nickels. 
before we do our last round. Once I finish up this body, I'll give you another hint. So once I sew this part closed, I'll give you another hint. And then you'll have until I sew on the body parts to, uh, to guess. One, two. What is the longest time I've gone without crocheting something since I started? Probably a a week? Eh, probably not a week. Probably like four days. Three or four days I think I've gone without crocheting. Because like I've hurt my arm or something. Hey, that's kind of sitting up pretty well there. Let's. I'm going to put one more nickel just to be safe. We want him to be to be a hefty elf. Hefty. Thick. Well, you know, if you don't win this one, maybe you'll win next week's giveaway, if we do win. What other things do I like to do other than crochet? Uh, I really like to play video games. Uh, I'm sure you already knew that, though. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I used to really like to skateboard, but I haven't skateboarded in a long time. Um, I really like to play board games. I'm a board game dude. Um... I like to go on walks on the beach. Uh, we live right across the street from the beach, so I really like doing that. Um, I like to eat sushi and ramen. Uh, and uh, I like to sleep. I love to sleep. Who doesn't love to sleep, though? Sleeping is great. And I like to pet my cat, Jimbo, and Phoebe. What other hobbies do I do? Uh, I, I like to draw. Um, I do draw a decent amount. And uh, do like, I like to do a lot of videos. I like to do like motion graphics animation. That's kind of something I really enjoy doing. But yeah, there's a lot of answers. A lot of answers for you. I like to stretch my imagination. That's a good answer. Okay. Let's cut this so it closed and get you guys that last hint. I'm actually going to do... I'm gonna sew this closed the way I used to sew it closed because I think it'll. Close up a little bit easier. I really want it to have a flat bottom. I'm basically just trying something. No, we decided in the beginning, Alice, that we were going to do a green elf. Okay, so we got our base sewn on. Does he sit up? Yes, he does. Great. All right, so last hint. Um, no, you could probably get to sit up without the without the coins. It just makes it a lot easier to sit up with if you stuff them with, like, pennies or nickels and stuff. All right, so the hints we have so far. Hint number one. Oh, uh, by the way, we're guessing what goes into this uh, box. So what is in this gift? Okay. And, oh, thanks for subscribing, whoever that was. Um, Sasha, thanks for subscribing. Uh, okay. First up, uh, the first hint was the number of stitches used in this pattern is... Um, state. Um, the first hint was the number of stitches used in the pattern is 150. 
Uh, and this is a pattern from the Club Crochet Library. Hint number two was the number of colors used. In the pattern, there's three colors used, but I used four colors because I added something special to this guy. Um, hint number three is his name is Milo, in, which means that it is a creature. It's a living thing. Uh, and then the fourth hint, last hint. Hold on first. We need to move this over a little bit. Okay. And then the last hint is... what it wants for Christmas. For Christmas, the creature that is in this box wants gold. That's what they want for Christmas. So it wants gold for Christmas. What do you think is in this box? You have got until I finish up our amigurumi to guess by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. The link is in the top of the description. Oh, did I not say Philo? What did I say? Oopsies. I meant to say Philo. <laughs> Kelly's like, yeah, I was not right. <laughs> oh, I said Milo. Gosh, now you got me saying it. Wants gold for Christmas. What do, what would want gold for Christmas? Okay, one ear sewn on. Cooper think, thinks they, he knows it. <laughs> Kelly's like, not an octopus. Probably not. What would an octopus want for Christmas? Maybe a, uh, a fish? Some new ink? Christmas, Christmas, cream base, cream base. Happy cream base, holiday cream base. That's what this song, that's the lyrics to this song. It's a cream base song, it's cream base, cream base, cream base, cream base, cream base. Trum base. <laughs> Mary Trum base. <laughs> Elf ears! Our little mustache elf he is so happy. Llama plays ask the only logical answer. I think there's actually a few logical answers. I, I have a feeling someone's gonna say 
I, I have a feeling I know what some people are going to guess. Uh, th that's going to be wrong. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, next up, we want to add the arms. I think you're going to like how I do this. So first off, we cut these in half. I wonder why my scissors are so dull. And then we do this. We fold this in half. And we go ahead and give it a little opening. Large enough for a crochet hook. Perfect. And then I twist this down. When do I announce? At the end of this. Cooper says that they'll donate if they're wrong because they're 99% sure that they know what's in that box. Okay. 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 We'll see. We will see. I hope I trick you. Because uh, I also want gold for Christmas. <laughs> We're going to put the arms a little lower. Like right there. And like to right there. So check this out. You just put your crochet hook in there, right? You grab a hold of this, and then you just pull it on through the body. And now the pipe cleaner is added in. Actually, we're gonna go and twist this a little bit more, and then twist it in. Yes. And then we're gonna take these, and we're gonna sew these on over those arms. For my sanity, tell me. We're gonna go boom, boom. Yeah, I think there might be like a few answers that could be pretty close. But you know what? It's got to be a little bit tough, right? It wouldn't be any fun if I just gave you the answer. But if not that many people get it, I'll make next week's a little bit easier. Ooh, one arm sewn on. Look at how easy that arm is to sew on. I'm flying, guys. Better go guess. You better go guess before it's too late. I'm just sitting here looking at all the chat and smiling. I'm not going to say why. I hit the camera. I didn't mean to, I swear. That's true. You're not supposed to guess in the chat. Or at least it doesn't count if you guess in the chat. I guess you can guess in the chat, but... I am not going to tell you if you're right or wrong.
That's all in good fun. Where am I going here? There to there. Bing, bing. I like this song. This is this is a very elfy kind of song, isn't it? All right, I just need to add the legs and then the the bell on top. Time is running out to guess. Go guess. If you haven't yet. If you get it right and you're not first, you'll still win five dollars. Five buckaroos to the Club Crochet store. You could buy a whole Club Crochet membership for that. Right now the legs. Legs are done pretty much the exact same way. Are my animations based on my stitched characters? Oh my the animations that I like to do? Uh no, not usually. Um I don't even know if I've done any stitched like themed animations. But I should. But I should. Yeah, this part's a little bit more difficult. So we want to sew on the leg. That maybe. That. Gustavo? <laughs> why why Gustavo? I mean, I don't hate it. Just curious. Everybody spam Gustavo. <laughs> you guys are dorks. Gustavo the head elf, huh? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'll be honest, I don't hate it. Oh my gosh, you guys are so dorky. Paid Pedro Gustavo. Oh no. His butt's getting unthreaded. We're gonna have to fix that. In a sec. an idea on how to make this work too so we can fix the de-threading issue that we got coming on I'm just being too rough with poor Gustavo's legs I know I said Gustavo Yes, listen to uh, Claire there. Just a reminder, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when we do more live streams like this. Because we're going to be doing another one on Wednesday the 22nd at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's the next one. Be there or be... Uh, don't Or don't be there because you have other things you've got to do. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go up through right here. Mm -mm. Excuse me. 
need to fix this. I'm gonna go up right here. Now let's go up right there. I'm trying to cover up that fuzzies. See, look, it's coming unthreaded a little bit. So we're just gonna try to double knot it to it really quick. Fix this issue. Oh my God. Yes, his name is Pedro Gustavo. <laughs> Crazy people. I'm looking. I see it. It's Pedro Gustavo. I see it, Kelly. Golly. Oh, sunshine. Well, I hope. I wish your daughter the best. And tighten. Okay. Now let's fix this. This leg is being a difficult boy. You're gonna get punished for that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See how it cleaned it up? So cool. Love it. Stuff that boy, buddy in there. Old buddy, old pal, get on in there. Double out these two ends. Louis Loops has left the chat. I'm looking. <laughs> Rebecca. You're funny. Well, hello, Rebecca's friend. Yes, we're almost done. We just need to sew on the other leg. Uh, and then sew on his his uh, bell on top of the head. So we're about, I would say maybe five-ish minutes away. This leg shouldn't be as difficult because we don't have to do anything fancy on it. This leg we had to like connect to the end. Oh, and I need to add his belt in yellow. I almost forget it, but I didn't forget it. I just almost forget it. This, does this sound like the beginning to Sesame Street when it does that? The bum, bum, bum. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do Sesame Street when it comes up. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Sunny days, there's the lines away. I've been watching a lot of Fraggle Rock recently. Anybody watch Fraggle Rock? I love that show. I've been rewatching it. It is a kid's show, I know, but I like it still. I think it's really nice. It makes me, calms me down. It's fun to watch. They got good songs, really good puppetry, nice fun stories. It's a good show. Ooh, it's like a Christmas Mario song. I'm go. I'm trying. I'm sewing as fast as I can, Mickey. I swear. Okay, we got one leg. We got the legs. 
Make sure he sits. Yes, okay, he's sitting. Whoop. He had a bit of a he had a bit of a tumble, but he's alright. Put his arms out front. He just can't look up, is all. <laughs> alright, green yarn, gotta sew on the top. Yellow yarn, gotta sew on his belt buckle, and then we'll be done. Okay. Ooh, I like the circle. That was a that was a fun show. Bill, sewn on. He's starting to ringle jingle. Merry Christmas, maybe you to. I am I'm digging this song in general. But yes, I'm also digging this playlist. There we go. I like to have the bell a little wibbly. All right, one more thing, and then I'm done, okay? We're just going to find our yellow yarn. We're going to sew on the belt buckle. We're going to do gold. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, have patience. The poor dude needs a bell. Now I'm just adding a belt buckle, and then I'll reveal the great question of what is in the box. What's in the box? Never seen that movie. Just know the quote. Oh, Jules just sneezed. Bless you, Jules. I think you can hear me, but that's okay. It happened. No demons jumping into her nose. All right. Belt buckle sewn on. No ear hair, Mickey Cricky. We have done enough. <laughs> yeah, Dumb Dog Studio is like, no, I hate ear hair. Me too. It sucks starting to get your hair and it's the worst okay let's go ahead and I'm gonna do this just to be safe boom da 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 our elf on the shelf is complete All right, now for the winner. Okay, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna ch hide the corner stuff, boom. And then we're going to turn off the submission so no more responses will be checked. No more responses, okay. And then the, let's see, whoa, okay. A decent amount of people got it right. 
I don't know who got it right first. But a decent amount of people did get it right. Hold on. I'm making it into a spreadsheet for you. Put this guy, let's go put him right here. Okay, oh cool, it does it by timestamp too. Yes, okay cool. So, the first person that got it right, nice, wow, someone got it right like really early on. All right, da, 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 da. let's turn this volume down a little bit. Ready guys, drum roll please. <laughs> Inside of our Christmas gift is. Doink! It's a goblin! Hello, Philo. How are you doing in there? Are you doing alright? This is Philo the goblin. Yes, of course it was a goblin! 150 ish stitches. The reason it's ish is because there's a couple of extra stitches for this tongue and. I, the chains, I don't know if they necessarily, the chains for the lips, I don't know if they necessarily count as stitches. The colors, yes, it uses three colors normally, white, green, and brown, but I added pink for the tongue here. His name is Philo, and he wants, he wants gold for Christmas. That's all he wants, is gold. That's it. And the winner is, the first winner, the person that wins the Mucho Moolah is... 28 magic hat that's what they want to be called so congratulations 28 magic hat um and i will be emailing you with a gift card and everybody else that won here i'll just go ahead and count off the some of the people that won let's see some other people that won cat cat won witchy boy cooper okay you were right cooperlicious you were right Hank won, Eli, congratulations, uh, Fran, Spaghetti Noodles got it right, ah, uh, Mickey Cricky, you didn't get it right, but that's what I thought someone was going to say, I thought you might have said a treasure chest, I thought maybe someone would guess that, uh, Kale got it right, Tom the Yeti, oh my gosh, Tom, another, Tom's got like four or five gift cards right now, uh, he just keeps winning gi giveaways. Claire got it right. Gizmo got it right. Tassilarian. Um, 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 CC, Ninja, Seo, Anna, and Jane. You all got it right. Congratulations. I'll be sending everybody that got it right a little bit. Um, you'll all be getting five buckaroos to the Club Crochet store to spend on whatever you want. And uh, basically $5 off. It's going to be a coupon. And then uh, the person that uh, got it first getting a $20 gift card. Congrats about that. You hang up first. Oh my god. No, you hang up first. You hang up. Oh my gosh. Leaf sauce, you hang up first. Bye, Alice. Uh-oh. It's it's a lagging. We got a laggy one, huh? Well, 